Hello, good evening. Hello, people. Are you there? Hola, buenas noches. Uh, hi, Wendy. Ah, okay, Michelle. So you are on the way home. Uh, camino a casa. Uh, is it just three people? Wow. Man, I thought, I thought there were more people here. Yeah, but it's okay. It's just, just three people in here. Okay, so we let me see. The camera off. So how's everything, people? Carlos, are you there? I am in there. Okay, cool. So good evening, everybody. I hope you have had a good day. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, William. How's everything? Me, ahorita voy, voy manejando, pero en lo, ya o que sea un par de minutos y me, ya voy a poner la, lo que es la cámara. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. So, yeah, I mean, I'm waiting for the rest of the people. And I don't know why. I mean, it's just you poor connector. But let's start with the things that we're going to have be, you, you know, like doing today. So let's remember today we're going to have uh, the review from the previous uh, topic that we left yesterday. We did not finish that part from yesterday. And also, we're going to start with a different topic, right, uh, that we're going to have for, uh, for tonight. So I'm going to change uh, from topic. But before changing from topic, we're going to check the exercises that we did not finish um, last class, okay? So that's what we are going to be uh, doing. So in order to start with that, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Okay. So just give me one second. I'm going to uh, do it right now. Give me one second. Okay. So okay. Andres Joel. See. Okay, he's not here. Uh, Carlos Mauricio. Ah, okay, very good. Let's see. Cindy Melanie. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Not here. Let's move. Stephanie Michel. No, I mean, she's on the way home. Uh, Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. So let's move. Jacqueline Patricia. Give me one second. Oh, she's not here. Uh, Joanna Saray. Teacher Joanna está enferma, no va a poder conectarse hoy. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess she, creo que sí me mandó un mensaje, algo, algo relacionado a que tenía algo que era hacer, algo así, pero de, de Estaba enferma, algo así le dije. Creo. All right. Sí, sí. Ok, perfecto. Thank you for telling me. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Ok, uh, okay cool. Very good. Let me see. Uh, José Edgar. Present. Uh, ok, nice. Juan Emanuel. Okay, he's not here. Julio Cesar. No, no, Julio. Karen Beatriz. All right, we are Karen. Carla Lisset. All right, Carla said no, she had a family problem. Raquel Stephanie. Present. Okay, cool. Mm, Veronica Areli. Present. Okay, good. Let's move. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay, cool. Uh, William Ernesto. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Xiomara Elizabeth. Xiomara. Okay, she's not here yet. Carlos Josue. Mm, she's not here. And the last one, Reinaldo Chavez. Okay, which is not here. All right. 
So if you remember people yesterday, we were discussing, okay, about one specific topic. What was the topic that we were discussing yesterday? Let's bring up a short feedback from that. And then we're going to check the exercises that we did not finish last class. So what was the topic that we were discussing last class? Let's see if, if, if we remember. Let's see if we remember. What was the topic that we were discussing last class? What was it? Can somebody tell me what was the topic? Let's see if you remember people. Let's see, Wendy, what was the topic? Industry vocabulary. Ah, okay, cool. Industry vocabulary. Thank you, Raquel. So remember, that was the vocabulary related to uh, basically the enterprises that we generally work in right so that was that was part of what we were doing last class if you remember we did not complete a series of exercises that we were practicing okay we just did about the, the one about the companies branches and the headquarters but there was one specifically that we did not finish which is this one I don't know if you remember, but it was this one. We did not finish this part, right? Okay, but let's try to finish it like right now. It says in here, look, match the product and service to the corresponding industry type. It says check the answers with a partner, right? That was, that was up to you. Okay, so we got it in here. Now, number one is already done in here because it says the banks. It says banks. Uh, what bank, uh, the banks, what is the industry that corresponds to the banks? According to this, it says that the finance industry is the one that goes with the banks. Now, with soft drinks, what is the industry that you have? Because you, if you remember, you did this yesterday. So, ustedes completaron esto ayer. Lo que único que vamos a hacer acá es uh, básicamente y corroborar la información que ustedes tienen, ok? So that's everything we're going to be doing. So what is the industry that goes with soft drinks? The beverage. The H, bever the beverage industry. This one? Yes, that one. Ok, number two over here. Does everybody got that one? Todos tienen esa? Do you have sí. that one? Oh, ah, okay, cool. Cool. Let's see. Uh, next one, it says guided tours. Guided tours. All right. So what is that? What is the industry that goes with this, uh, basically, this company? Guided tours. What is that? Letter I. Letter I. I. The mm -hmm. tourism industry? Yes. This one? Mm, okay. Might be acceptable. Thank you for participation. Let me see. The next one, it says cardboard boxes. Xiomara, what do you have in that one? In cual, pardon, teacher? Cardboard boxes, number four. Ah, uh, it's is the packaging industry. Ah, okay, here we good. Letter G, that's the one that you have, okay, here we good. So you got number four one here. Okay, number five, it says buildings. Uh, let's see who, Jorge, what do you have in that one? Are you there, Jorge? Five. What do you have in that one? In number five. In number five, it says buildings. What is the industry that goes with buildings? The 
the construction industry. Ah, okay, the construction industry. That's yeah. the one. Okay, very good. So it's going to be letter B, right? In here, yeah. number letter five. B. Okay, very good. So let's move to the next one. It says in number six, it says mobile phones. Uh, help me out with this one. Mm -mm. Andres. Number six, Andres, mobile phones. What is the industry that this type of category goes with? Andres, are you there? People, is it me or everybody is is, is in the job or, or, or what are you doing? Es mi percepción o todos están en trabajos o están en casa o, o what? Porque solo tengo a Semara, Ivania y Wendy con la cámara encendida. Algunos ya me han comentado que van de camino, uh, but, pero los demás. But the rest. Ah, ya, yeah, mi Verónica es Irene. ¿Estás you eating, Verónica? Okay, so probably that's why she's, she got the camera on. Ah, okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I mean, because I'm, I'm talking to you and, and I don't see, I don't listen to you people. So that's why I'm telling you. So, Andres, are you there? Okay. I guess it's not there. All right. Let's, let's move. Let's move. Okay. So, the mobile phone. Who helped me out with that one? With number six, mobile phones. What is the industry for the mobile phones? Any volunteer that wants to help me out with that? The telecommunication uh, industry. Okay, thank you, Karen. All right, the telecommunication industry, right? That's number six. Okay, nice. Next, it says medicine. What is the industry that belongs to the medicine? Uh, yeah, I mean, Raquel, help me out. Uh, the pharmaceutical industry. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I mean, that one, right? Pharmaceutical industry, so it goes with number seven. Car components. Okay, with the car components, Ivania. What is the industry that goes with that? The automotive industry. Ah, okay, very good. The automotive industry, right? Okay, so here goes with number eight. Cool. Let's move to the next one. It says hair salon services. Hair salon services. What what that what is the company or the industry in this case that goes with that? Uh Veronica. Beauty and personal care industry. Ah, okay, cool. Beauty and personal care industry, right? That goes with this one. Okay, cool. That's number nine. And of course, the last one is just clothes, right? That's that goes with the textile industry. Number 10, right? So this is the way how you have, I guess, this matching that we were doing basically, okay, in the last class okay uh, talk so if you got it this way so it means uh, that you did it correctly right now after this one if you remember we were doing something else right and you know what I ah okay cool so significa que no llega a casa todavía michelle if you go by the by los chorros you're not getting home yet okay but anyways Let's move out with this. So I'm going to clear the, this, these things and let's move to the next exercise that we didn't complete it. That's one. Okay. Some of you have already done this one from yesterday, but some of you didn't do it completely. If you remember here, it says, write a sentence to describe the expertise and the industrial classification of the businesses. Look at this below. Uh, share your sentences with a partner, it says. Uh, in here, in here, 
there are just like some phrases in which you have to match them with the industry, okay? For example, it says refresh and live. Look at this, it says, at refresh and live, we distribute soft drinks, right? So the company has to go related to the industry that they are talking about in this case. It says, we are in the beverage industry, right? So this is the one. Now, fix and care. What do you think is the, is the industry that belongs to this phrase? Fix and care. What do you have in that one? ¿Quién terminó esa? Que me pueda mencionar qué pusieron ahí. ¿Cuál es la industria? Yo la hice. All right, Raquel. What do you have in that one? Beauty and personal care industry. Ah, okay. That belongs to the beauty and personal care industry. Okay, so basically that's like when uh, you go to a beauty salon to have some treatments, right? It can be for your hair or it can be for your skin or your face, right? So that's 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 the one that belongs in here. Okay, very good. Now the next one, enjoy and travel. What do you have in that one, Julio Cesar? No tengo el libro aquí, pero... <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the book. <laughs> All right, okay. No problem. No problem. Let me see. Uh, probably I got another person who can help me out with that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Veronica, help me out, Veronica. Enjoy and travel, ¿verdad? Yes. Um, escribimos, we are dedicated, dedicated to sell of service and tourist trips in mm. the tourist industry. Now, okay, very mm. good. Nice, Veronica. Thank you for, for, for the, the answer that you provided. Okay, now we got businesses or business in this case, business bank. Okay. Uh, Juan Campos, what would you have in that one? One. Finance industry. Ah, okay, very good. It goes with the finance industry. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, it goes with everything related to money, right? And, and, and transactions and all those things that goes with that. Okay, the Sun Resort. That one is pretty easy to identify, right? The Sun Resorts. It can be the name of a hotel, right? Especially those type of hotels that are very close from from the beach. Those ones are like you know, like like pretty uh, uh what acceptable for people who goes on vacation, okay? And what is the industry that that belongs to? Uh, let's see. <laughs> no, man, William is not there. Uh, Michelle, Jorge. Edgar, what do you have in that one? What is the industry that you think this uh, hotel, to call it like that, belongs to? Jose Edgar. Are you there, Edgar? Uh, okay, all right. I guess he's not there. Let me see who can help me out with that. Xiomara, help me out with that one. The Sun Resort. Uh -huh. What's the industry that belongs to that? It's the tourist industry. No, okay, cool. It belongs to the tourism industry, right? Mm -hmm. Everything that has to do with tourism. It goes with hotels and all those things, right? Okay, pretty cool. So basically, that was part of what you guys were doing. Okay. Uh, e yesterday, in the last exercises that we were practicing. Now, what are we going to be doing? Listen up. 
by today we're gonna have a very different and complete topic here in comparison to what we were uh, discussing last class all right so today's topic is going to be related to uh the structures uh composed by the simple present and i'm gonna be in the way second i'm gonna show you what we are going to be doing all right so this is the one look at this this is basically the topic that we are going to be talking about today and uh, we're going to be practicing so this is the video conference number seven let's remember that and tonight's topic is going to be simple present information questions right this is going to be the topic that we're going to be discussing right all right so let's move on with that let's remember that uh, when we talk about the simple present we are talking about general truth right recordemos que cuando hablamos del presente simple hablamos sobre actividades que por lo general hacemos todos los días para los que estuvieron conmigo el, el módulo pasado estuvimos practicando mucho el uso de las daily routines ¿de acuerdan? Entonces, you wake up uh, you go to work and then you go to, to your house have the class and then you go to sleep in that series of activities you generally do it every single day right the whole week so basically the simple present goes with that. Remember, the simple present is to talk about habits and activities that you do every day. But now we are not going to focus on positive and negative statements. Now we are going to be focusing on information questions, okay? Or preguntas informativas. In this case, we are going to use the WS words appropriately, right? So we're going to be discussing about the structure. And of course, we are going to be practicing questions. So what is the most relevant that we have for the class agenda? So we're gonna complete the review from the previous class. Uh, it was part of what we did right now. Then we're gonna have a conversation, okay, related to the structure that we're gonna start off. And that is, you know, like the information questions, introduction and the structure. Vamos a ver un poco sobre la estructura de cómo crear preguntas con information questions. Aunque ya tenemos una idea, pues hemos visto parte de esto los módulos pasados. Uh, before that and after that, we're going to make some examples for your own questions and answers. And then we are going to do a series of exercises in the manual, obviously related to the structure. Okay, so this is pretty much what we have. And the rest of the activities, of course, we're going to do it in the manual, all right? So this is part of what we have, okay, for uh, the rest of the class. Okay, so let's start over. Sorry, people, I had some, some inconvenience in here. Uh, let's start with this. Listen. Before starting with the main topic, I would like we to practice we, we to practice the short conversation that we have again at the beginning. Okay, why do I really want you to practice the conversation? Because in that way we are going to identify the structures to create questions using the simple present. And that conversation we have it in the manual. So if you have the manual printed. I would like you to go to that and let's see the conversation. The, man, the conversation is in page 21 from the manual, okay? So that's the conversation that we are going to be practicing on. So this one, I'm gonna show it to you. Give me one second. All right, this is, this is the manual. Okay, look at this, this one. It says in here, Listen to your teacher read the conversation, says, then practice with a partner. Listen up. Miss Tate arrives to a restaurant. She will train the personnel, it says. Look, and Mr. John, okay, the owner welcomes her. So this is the way how we're going to be interacting, 
okay, with this type of a structure and in this in this conversation. Let me see. So we got it in here. Look, the conversation is between Miss Tate and Mr. John. Okay, so this is the way how we're gonna be doing. So let's say let's practice it, and it says, "Hello, good morning." Listen, hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Are you Mr. John? It says, yes, I am. Yes, I am. It says, I'm Miss Tate. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. It says, nice to meet you. And it says, Mr. John, hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. This is Mario. He's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Listen up. He's the branch manager, and this is Leo. It says Mario. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet you. It says, nice to meet you too, Mario. Nice to meet you, Le Leo. What do you do? Listen up. What do you do? It says, Leo, nice to meet you. I'm in church of the kitchen staff. I'm in church of the kitchen staff. Great. Great. Who, Mr. John? What does the girl over there do? What does the girl over there do? It says, she's Nisa. She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. She's in charge of purchases. Okay, very good. From the whole conversation in here, people, do you have any question with vocabulary? Alguna palabra que no comprendamos de la conversación? Teacher. Yeah, Jorge. Uh, church and purchase. Purchase. Purchase is, is compra. Ah, okay. Okay. Y church. In church. In church of is estar a cargo de. Uh, like a cargo. Church. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. Something else? Alguna otra palabra que no comprendamos del todo, people, from there? Any question? Okay, I guess everybody understands the whole vocabulary over there, right? Okay, no problem. If you understand the whole vocabulary, so let's put it away and we're going to be practicing that part. Uh, let's say, from the people who got the camera off, who are the ones that can practice the conversation right now? Because since you have the camera off, it means that you're doing something else. So Raquel is there, but she can practice. Julio, you can practice too? Yeah, right? Sí, sí. Okay, perfect. Jacqueline? Are you there, Jacqueline? I haven't seen the, this, this, this student. Jacqueline, are you there? Se encuentra ahí, Jacqueline. Hello. Mm, okay, she's, apparently she's not there. Okay, she got this disconnected. Okay, cool. Jorge, you can practice, right? Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Cindy, are you there?
Cindy. Mm, okay. I guess she's not there. Uh, Andres, now are you there, man? Mm, okay. I guess he's not there. Juan, how about you? Juan, are you there? Okay, so I'm gonna put this this bunch of people into one uh, single section. So that way we can practice with the rest uh, of the ones that are active. Give me one second, please. So we are 14. And there are some of, some of them that are not, are not fully there. Ah, okay, cool. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, okay. Teacher. Hello? Eh, ¿Cuál página es? Uh, it's 21. Okay. Yeah, I mean, give me one second. I, I need to do some changes in here, okay? Could you hear me? Yeah, Juan. Are you there? Okay, give me yeah, one second. Okay. Yes. All right, the thing is that I'm moving some people. Give me one second. I'm just, I'm just doing this thing. Move to number six. Sister. Okay, I'm going to redo this again. Uh, so that way we are going to go to the breakout rooms to practice, okay? Just give me one second. I'm changing this, this, this people. Okay, Andres. Uh, Andres is not longer participating in, in the conversation, right? Uh, okay, Jorge and Edgar. So I'm going to move Jorge from here. Ah, uh, come on, people! You're not, you're not. Yo en unos diez minutos llego aproximadamente. Okay, okay, William. No problem with you. So just give me one second. There are there are some people in here that are no longer participating, so that's why I'm moving them from the breakout rooms. So I'm gonna recreate them, and I'm gonna assign you manually. Okay, give me one second. So Andres is not in here right now. Uh, let me see. He said that it's not participating. That too. Okay. And then I'm gonna put you. I ain't even seen you here, right? Cindy is not. Okay, Ivania and Jacqueline. Okay. So give me one one minute. I'm doing doing this for us to practice. Veronica and Raquel, okay, very good. So Michelle is already there. That's cool, good news. And I'm gonna sign another one, give me a second. Sumara. Okay, cool. And I'm going to add another one. Give me one second. I'm just adding more and more people in here. William Ernesto. Okay, cool. And uh, I'm gonna move Wendy to number seven. Okay, nice. Okay, cool. Let's open all the breakout rooms and let's go to work. Let's go to work, people. Okay, let's join. Let's join to there to the to break our rooms, please.
Okay, let me see. Miss Tate, let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mario, nice to meet you. Leo, what do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in chair of the kitchen staff. Great. Uh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in chair of pools. Mm. Ah, bueno, solo son motos, ya. Sí, ahora. Ok, entonces ahora empieza tú. Ok. Nice to meet you. you What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in share of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. Young, what does the girl over over there do? She's Lisa. She's in charge of purchases. Okay. Okay. What else? Hello. Good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I'm. I am mistake. I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Mistake. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is a branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in si quiere empiece ¿cómo? A, 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 empezamos de nuevo sí, como guste bye hello, good morning are you Mr. John? yes, I am I am Miss Day I am the trainer nice to meet you Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tay. Let me introduce the staff. This is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Oye, empiezo. Sí. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am the charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. 
is in the charge of the purchases. Jean Pierre. Sí. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Good, and you? Oh, I'm very sad. Why sad? <laughs> because I want to sleep now. <laughs> me too. Believe me, me too. Let me see. I know. In one hour and 18 minutes, we can go to bed. <laughs> No, but, right now. But it's me. It's missing one hour and twenty minutes. Let's put it twenty minutes. Um, Not very long. One, one, one hour and twenty minutes goes fast, man. With the practice that we're gonna be doing, it's gonna be fast. Did you finish practicing? Yes. Yeah, really? Yeah, I mean, you have to. Learn. But Veronica, check a mistake in the conversation. Which mistake? Veronica? What's the mistake, Veronica? Hola, hola. What is the mistake? El error de la conversación. Permítame que no, le, no, no les escucho bien. Ah. My God, Veronica. Hola, hola. Hello. Ahora, ahora, creo que... ahora sí. The mistake este... in the conversation. What's the mistake? En la parte de donde dice nice to meet you, Mario. And nice to meet you, Leo. Dice nice meeting you. ¿Verdad que es un error? Así es. Mm, y, ¿Y por qué? Yeah, I mean, we English can put it that way. Mistake. We can put it that way too, and, and there is a correct a way to, to say it. Nice meeting you. Muchas personas lo hacen así, y básicamente lo que hacen es, en vez de poner el verbo en infinitivo, que es el to meet, lo ponen con ing, o sea, con un gerundio. Nice meeting you. Y es correcto uh, mm, usarlo de diferente que, forma en la misma oración. Así digamos, que la, digamos que la forma formal es eh, con el infinitivo. Nice to meet you. Digamos que nice meeting you es como una forma un tanto informal. ¿Ok? Es menos usada. La más común es nice to meet you. That's, that's the most appropriate. Es como un gusto, un gusto reunirme contigo, ¿cómo? Algo así. Es lo mismo, es el mismo significado. Lo único que cambia es la estructura. Pero es the same. Es the same meaning. Ok. Ahí eh, lo único que es, es el, 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 you know, like the, the, lo único que cambia es el verbo. De infinitivo cambia a gerundio, pero eso es todo. Oh. Yes. Ahí se nos fue Verónica. Eso le iba a decir que me dejó solita. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's true. I don't know what happened to her. But sí. yeah, probably she got problems with the internet. But anyway. Mm -hmm. but anyway. Teacher me va a disculpar con Joanita. Está enfermita. Eh, sí, sí, así me comentó que está un tanto enferma. Sí, tiene los 1500 males, mi amigis. ¿Y qué es lo que le pasa exactamente a ella? Tiene cáncer de tiroides. ¿En serio? Yes. Sí. Entonces los tratamientos que ella le ponen este, la dejan bien mal, súper mal. Pero entonces sí es tratable y todo. Eh, Se puede decir que sí, o sea, ya le hicieron, hace dos años le hicieron la operación y todo, uh -huh. pero le he hecho metástasis, entonces tienen que uh -huh. tratarla nuevamente con un tratamiento más intensivo, entonces le ponen yodo radioactivo en la sangre. Y eso la, la afecta bastante, la deja de... Y con yeah. Teacher. 
Hello, William. Dice que me conecté al, al grupo y empezando iba y me falló el Inter y me sacó. <risa> Así acabo de ver. No, y anda no, brincando no, de que... grupo en grupo, William. No, que fíjese que no sé por qué. No sé, fíjese, pero yo vengo en el camino, no me falla y es viniendo a la casa. Y empieza a fallar. Empieza a fallar en la señal, no Entonces, sé por qué tengo el problema. Es weird. Usted es tipo Michelle. Michelle cuando va conectada en, en el camino a, 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 del trabajo a la casa, se le escucha todo perfecto, pero cuando ya va, cuando ya está en casa, se le corta todo. Muchos dispositivos conectados a ese wifi. Uh -huh, probably. Probably, that's the one. Sí, no, no sé cuál es el problema que está dando. Bueno, no sé, pero... Yeah, pero tengo toda la señal, porque yo todo lo veo, solo lo hago en el teléfono. Desde que inicié siempre lo he hecho así. Ah, ok. Pero yo igual no sé. y, con, y no. con puros datos pongo dos pesos para cuatro días y nunca me ha fallado. Imagínense. Y, no, 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 y, y yo en teoría lo tengo con... con lo, lo ¿Con tengo, le estoy, estoy pagando la línea. Ah, <risa> yo... Yo uso mi personal para esto y, y sí, dos dólares le pongo un imparable para cuatro días y con, hago la clase completa y nunca me ha fallado. <ríe> mi destre, es cierto. Es, Siempre la he visto. Y el otro, con la el otro de la salí línea. mejor a hacer eso. Sí, es mejor. Y yo estaba en el, en el grupo donde estaba, estaba Wendy y estaba Edgar. Pero veo, ah. que la conversación, veo que la conversación es de tres personas. Ya, yeah, bien. Ajá, pero creo que Wendy estaba buscando. Pero... Nosotros lo hicimos corrido sí. con Vero. Ajá, lo pueden hacer corrido también. No problem. All right. Eh, vámonos ya a la sección principal. Probably Verónica is there. Tal vez Verónica está ahí. En, en let's practice this, ¿ok? Ok. listen to you guys. Bueno, ahí me pone. Ya, yeah, bien. Eh, no, le voy a poner con, la, con uno que practique. No problem. <ríe> Yo le ayudo si gusta también. Nice, Ahí. nice. Perfecto. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Nah, so everybody's coming now. So let's see. People, the ones who are not doing anything, turn on the cameras. I want to see you. Hey, me siento solo. Me enciendan la cámara, al menos para ver que ahí están. Y no estoy hablando con la pared. <laughs> digo, digo, la pantalla. <laughs> Hello, everybody. All right. So we're going to start with the, with the, with the general practice uh, from this. Okay. And I want to listen to you guys. Uh, I am in Veronica is here. So you see, she's there. Just getting connected right now. By the way. Okay. Uh, let's start over. Julio, who are you practicing with? I'm going to put the presentation. Give me one second. The conversation. Con Karen y José. Con Karen y? Y Edgar. Ah, I mean, ah Edgar is, 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 is now participating. Okay, that's cool. Okay. So uh, I want to listen to you guys. Let's Let's go. Primero Karen y yo, sí. Okay. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchasing. Perfect. There we go. Now it's going to be with the... Uh, uh, let me see. Where, where, is, where is... Ah, Jose Edgar. Okay, mm -hmm. who's gonna practice with Jose Edgar? Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Good, 
Yes, I am. I mistake. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you, Mr. Tyke. Let's my, my introduction the Steve. It is Mario. He is the brace manager and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> nice to meet you, Mario. Nice, nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I in the charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Great to Mr. Young. What does they gear over there do? She's Nisa. She's in the charge of the purchases. Ah, okay. Well, no. In charge of purchases. Okay, very good. So thank you, Karen. Uh, Jose Edgar and Julio. Now let's jump into Raquel and Veronica. Let's go. Okay. Very okay. okay. Hello. Good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the range manager in this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. Young, what does the year over there do? Chess Nisa. Chess in charge of four chances. Four chances. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. There you go. Now, thank you, Veronica. And uh, Raquel, can you help out William? So he doesn't have anyone to practice with. Uh, let me see. Where's William? Okay. Hey, give me one second. William, are you there? No, man. He, he left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, got, he, he got disconnected. So let's wait for him. So probably uh, uh, he connects later. Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, thank you, Raquel. Good. Uh, Michelle? Let's go with, with the person that you were practicing, Michelle. Michelle, are you there? It looks like she's crying, man. She's she's cleaning her her ears. I mean her eyes. Michelle, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> Give me one second. I, I, I'm going to put something in here. Give me one second. Yeah. <laughs> so probably, probably she, she, she says this. Nah, man, she got disconnected. So let's connect. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's move on. Sorry, man. Wendy, who were you practicing with? Me tocó con, con William y con Juan. Juan Emanuel? Okay, let's, let's, let's practice with Juan Emanuel. Juan Emanuel, because William is not here. Uh, bye. Okay, let's go. Bye, William. Pues soy Miss okay. Hello, Start. good morning. Are you, are you Miss? There, don't. Good, yeah. Uh, I'm Mr. Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you, Mr. Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. 
Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Mario. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in chair of the chicken stuff. A, a, a kitchen, 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 chicken is for you. Of the kitchen stuff. There you go, Wendy. <laughs> Great. Uh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Misa. She's in charge of the purchases. There you go. Thank you, Wendy. And thank you, Juan. You did it excellent. Now, let's see. Michelle, ahora sí nos escucha. Sí, ya me había hablado. <laughs> sí, usted está limpiándose los ojos. Estaba así. Y en like, Es Michelle, que se quedó como un robot y ahí se salió. <laughs> ah, ok, cool. Who, who were you practicing with? Con Xiomara. Ok, cool. Let's, let's go. Ok. Uh, hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I am Mistake. I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am I am chair of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. Young. What does the girl over there do? She is Nisa. She is, I am chair of purchase. purchase. Okay, she is in charge of purchases. Okay, cool. Thank you uh, to you both, ladies. Now let's move on. Uh, let's see who got the practice. Who is missing in the practice? Give me one second. I'm gonna expand this thing because I don't see nothing. Tiomara, who are you practicing with? Ahorita, teacher, con Michelle. Yeah, I mean, right. You were the one. Okay, don't mix this a lot. Um, Ioania, who were you practicing with? Jesus Christ. This, this, these things are moving. Ioania? Uh, let's see who was practicing with Ivania. I think she's not there right now. Hi, teacher. Hi, it was it was you. Yeah. Let's see, Ivania, are you there? Okay, démosle un momento, tal vez, <laughs> tal vez se le ido el internet. Let me see, William. Are... Jesus Christ, se acaba de conectar William y se fue de nuevo. <laughs> Okay, so he doesn't want to practice. Uh, uh, something else, someone else I have, I have not mentioned. Aparte de Ivania y Jorge, hay algún otro grupo o pareja que no ha participado? Let me see, Raquel, no has participated. Andres didn't participate. Jacqueline neither. Uh, da, 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 Juan has already participated. Yeah, I mean, it's just Jorge and, and, and Ivania. Ivania, are you there? Hello. Nah, man, you got a bad luck. She's not there. Okay, Jorge. Uh, uh, I'm going to put someone else to practice with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see. Raquel, now that William is not here, help, help Jorge. Okay, to practice. Okay. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's... I Sorry, teacher. Es que no me va a creer, pero me ha, me ha tocado que salirme porque yo creo que estando adentro es que me está fallando, no sé. Ah, ok, cool. So you're here. Ok, eh, espero que ahora sí, ya, 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 ya. No, no tengamos tantos esos problemas, ok, cool. So, Raquel, el destino no quiere que le ayude a Jorge. William, help out. Jorge, Jorge, Jorge is missing, man. Jorge no tiene parejita ahorita. Let's go. Eh. Y yo ahorita participo. Yes, yes, right now. Oh, right yeah. now. Pero quién soy yo, Miss Tay, Miss Joe, yes, o Mario. Yeah, yeah, Miss Tay. Ah, oh, okay, then Tate. yeah, I mean, hagan lo corrido. Okay. Hello, Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Joe? Yes, yes I, I am. am. Ay, what? 
Dame Raquel, they both are going to participate. Thank you for. for... I'm sorry. No problem. No she problem. wanted to participate too, man. Okay, cool. Let's continue, guys. Bye. Empiezo otra vez? Yes, yes. Bye. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Take. I'm the trainee. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's, he's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm a chair on the kitchen staff. Great. Uh, Mr. Young, what does the gear over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of the purchase. Purchases. 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 Okay, purchases. Remember, purchases means uh, compras, right? Okay. That's what it is. Compras. Okay, people, listen up. Now that we have this, okay, practiced, if you take a look in here, we have some questions over here. We got like, uh, give me one second, what is this? Questions like, uh, no, 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 no. Like, what do you do? This is an information question according to the structure because we start the questions with a WH word. And then it says, what does the girl over there do? Okay, vamos a hablar un poco sobre la estructura entonces de las information questions in order to practice them at all, right? Give me one second, I'm gonna, uh, in order to start with that, I am going to stop sharing this, I'm going to pass the attendance list, and then we're going to continue with the grammar part, okay? Give me one second. Give me one second. Hey, what's up, Carlos? You're getting connected. Cool, man. Uh, Andres Joel? Andres, are you there? All right, so yeah, apparently it's there. Uh, Carlos Mauricio. Mm. Okay, I think Carlos is the one that sent the message that he's, he's back from hell. Uh, Cindy Melanie. No, okay, cool. So it means you're there. Uh, Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, cool. Ivania Jamilet. Oh, yeah, man, but I think Ivania fell asleep. Creo que se nos durmió Ivania. Jacqueline Patricia. Jacqueline. Uh, okay, she's there, but I think she's the one that is sick. Joanna Sarai, I'm settling. Joanna is not here. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Present. Okay, cool. Jose Edgar. Present. Okay, nice. Juan Emanuel. Juan. Are you there, Juan? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, cool, cool. Julio Cesar. Present. Okay, nice. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, Carla Lisette. All right, she's not here. Raquel Stephanie. I'm here. They are good. Veronica Arely. Present. Nice. Wendy Yamilet. Present. Okay. okay, cool. William Ernesto. Present. Okay, nice. Yomar Elizabeth. Present, Yomar. present. Ah, okay, perfect. And the last one, Reinaldo Chavez. Okay, which is not here. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to show you the presentation. <laughs> Hello, Carlos. Nah, man, you're, you're a little bit late, but the good thing is that you're here, man. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 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 yeah, yeah, I uh, mentioned it already. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Uh, so we stayed in here. We stayed in here, right? Uh, before moving on to the manual. Now let's jump into the simple present information question. That's the main topic, okay? Now let's go into this. Uh, let's see. Carlos, help me out reading this part, please. Of course, teacher. Simple present information question. Uh -huh. Information question are, are used to ask specific information about a person, place, or situation. Okay, very good. Listen up. Information questions are used to ask a specific information about a person, place, or situation. How come? Look at this. Examples. Where do you work? Look at this. Si recordamos... En una yes no question bien común, eliminamos básicamente el where y colocamos do you work? Esta es una yes no question. ¿Por qué se le conoce como yes no question? Porque solo tiene dos opciones de respuesta. Yes and no. Ok. So only two options. Like the answers. Yes, I do. If it is negative, no, I don't. And that's it. Y básicamente eso es todo. En cambio acá, it's different. This one is different because it says, where do you work? Aquí ya es una open question. En la cual nos están preguntando sobre qué. In, the case, in this case, nos están preguntando sobre un lugar. With this WH word, es básicamente lo que nos están preguntando sobre un lugar. Sobre un lugar donde nosotros hicimos una actividad, que en este caso es trabajar, ¿ok? Y el you nos hace ver que la pregunta es en primera persona, right? Where do you work? Ok, the possible answer to this question. I work in Super Selectos, for example, right? So that's the name of a company. So, and we answer that, ok, we answer that. Uh, into 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 the question, right? Basically, we answer that question. So if you take a look, it says we have the subject. After the subject, we get the verb work. El mismo verbo simplemente lo bajamos y luego ponemos in y luego la locación, el lugar de donde trabajamos. Like where do you work? I work in Super Selectos. Now, next example question. Check this out. Uh, Michelle, read this question. Uh, what does she do? Okay, cool. What does she do? Okay, nice. Look at the answer, uh, Julio Cesar. Julio Cesar, are you there? Okay, I think that I think he's the one that goes home. Um, let me see who else can help me out with this. William, help me out, please. She supervises the production department. Okay, she supervises the production department. Let's let's listen to this. Look, si ven acá, uh, hay un pequeño cambio en cuanto al verbo. If you remember from module two, te recordamos del módulo pasado. En donde estuvimos viendo el uso del presente simple, podremos, podremos recordar, ok, que el presente simple en tercera persona, nosotros solemos modificar el verbo cuando estamos hablando de singulares, ok. Si ven en la pregunta acá, ya no tenemos do, tenemos does. ¿Y por qué tenemos does? Porque la siguiente palabra o el subject en este caso es una tercera persona, en este caso es she, ok. That's the way. In the answer, in la respuesta, por lo general, la hacemos con el verbo modificado en tercera persona. Ok? So, in this case, no es she supervises. Es she supervises. So, ¿qué hacemos acá? Básicamente lo que hacemos es, ok, agregarle 
S al verbo, ok? Agregarle la S al verbo. And that's it. She supervises the production of the farm. Let's remember, a la gran mayoría de verbos les agregamos S, ok? There are some sections in which we add ES. Hay algunas secciones en las que agregamos ES, ok? Como en verbos que terminan en O. Tal es el caso de go, goes, ok? Do, does, tal y como tenemos en la pregunta, right? So this is part of uh, the process for creating this type of questions and possible answers, right? Cool. Hasta acá, con estos ejemplos que tenemos acá, antes de pasar a la estructura, do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna duda? ¿Alguna pregunta? Solo deje de teacher nada más que lo anote, por favor. No, okay, cool. Ya, yeah, I mean, let's Pero... copy that. That's it. Copienlo entonces. And let me know when you finish, okay? Me avisen cuando terminen de copiar, por favor, para poder pasar. Of course. Okay, perfect. So let's, let's, let's try to hurry up because I'm going to do some things. Finished, teacher. Thank you. Okay, cool. I guess the rest of, 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 of your classmates have already finished. Okay, so I'm going to eliminate this thing and let's continue. Let's talk a little bit about the structure, okay? What is the structure? So the structure is the following. Look, we have the WH word plus do or does. Recordemos, do si es primera persona o plural, does si es tercera persona, right? Usando he, she, okay? Or it o un a nombre en singular. Then after that, we have the subject, remember the subject can be any pronoun or proper noun, then the verb in base form, luego el verbo en forma base, and then the complement. Para que no sirva el complemento, ustedes saben, para hacer más específico lo que estamos preguntando, okay? So we have a series of examples related to questions like this. Look at this question. Let me see. Who can help me out with that? Edgar, help me out reading this question, please. Where does Marta send email? Emails, okay, thank you. Thank you, mister. Where does Marta send emails? Look at this, the possible answer to this. She sends emails to other branches. Ah, ella envía correos a otras sucursales. If you take a look in here, according to what we were practicing, in here, el verbo send va con S. Okay, why? Because in this case, estamos hablando de una tercera persona, right? In este caso, she. Okay, y si ven acá en la pregunta, llevamos das. Y porque llevamos das, ya el verbo no le escribimos S, sino en forma vas. Okay, you have to know that. You have to know that part. All right, next example. Look at this. Uh, what do you do? What do you do? Okay, básicamente es una pregunta que nos, eh, se nos hace para saber a qué nos dedicamos. Que sea en nuestro trabajo o en nuestros estudios o en nuestro quehacer eh, rutinario, right? So, in this case, there are different answers to this question. Si alguien les pregunta a ustedes ya con relación a saber de su vida, so what do you do es a qué te dedicas, ¿ok? So ustedes pueden mencionar inclusive la profesión que tienen, la, la, ¿ok? Like for example, I can say what do you do? I am a teacher. I am a teacher. So that's the possible answer. Entonces es una de las posibles respuestas. O if it is related to the job y si es relacionado al trabajo Vamos a mencionar lo que estamos haciendo básicamente en el trabajo, right? For example, look at this. I train new employees. 
a entreno nuevos empleados, ¿ok? O capacito nuevos empleados. So, you see, dependiendo de la acción que nosotros hagamos, así va a ser el verbo que vamos a utilizar en este tipo de preguntas. Con what y do, ¿ok? Aquí ustedes son libres de escoger la acción que ustedes quieran y pues dependiendo de la acción, así va a ser el verbo que se utilice. All right? So this is the way. Let me see. Okay, cool. You got it this. Uh, any question with this right up to now? Hasta acá. ¿Alguna pregunta con relación a la estructura y fórmulas de pregunta? Recordemos. Listen, listen. Cuando hablamos de WH words acá en esta zona de la estructura, cuando dice acá WH word, recordemos, nos estamos refiriendo básicamente al uso de qué? De what? What time? Where? When? Who? Which? And why. Ok. Estas son las WS words más comunes que tenemos. Ok. So, this, these are the ones that we commonly have in here. Son las que comúnmente hemos estado practicando en módulos pasados. Ok. Cool. Uh, if you don't have any question from this, any, any doubt from this, Let's move on to the next page. Vamos a pasar entonces a la siguiente uh, página. Give me one second. Teacher. Yes. Ahí lo único que va a cambiar va a ser, eh, o sea, si, si es primera persona sería tú. Si exactly. Ya ha cambiado. Es el único que hay que fijarlo. ¿no? Exactly. Si ve en primera persona, acá tenemos que sería tú. Pero si es tercera persona, usando he, she, it o un nombre propio, ya sería das. Ok, teacher. Ok, ya. Yeah. Tomando en cuenta que acá el verbo siempre va a estar en forma base. Ok. ¿Y qué significa el verbo en forma base? Significa que no va a tener que ir modificado con S, y S o con algún otro tipo de, de, de nexo que se le puede hacer. Ok. It has to go as it is. Tiene que ir tal y como es. All right. Cool. Any question with these people? Alguna pregunta está acá con esa estructura, people? No? Okay, cool. No, teacher. Perfect, man, perfect. So, what are we going to do in this case? Let me see, let me see. I'm going to move. Okay, let's move. Questions to answers. Okay, questions are related to this. What do you do in your job? If I ask this question to you guys, what do you do in your job? What would you answer? ¿Qué vamos a responder si estuviéramos, eh, 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 si nos preguntaran, eh, si nos hicieran esa pregunta? What do you do in your job? I want two opinions. Vamos a ver, quiero dos opiniones en este caso. Two answers. For The example, uh, I am in chair of the people. Okay, cool. I am in charge of the people. No, uh -huh. acceptable. There you go. Someone else? Alguien más? I am supervisor self. Ah, okay, cool. You are in so you are the supervisor supervisor related to sales. Okay, cool. Sales. Yeah, I mean sales. Okay, nice. So that's part of it, right? Now, next question. Look at this. What does she supervise? What does she supervise? Okay, for example, look at this. Uh, let me see who else is in here. Wendy, give me a possible answer to this question. Give me a possible answer. ¿Qué supervisa ella? Vaya, sería... She supervises... Ajá. 
de el recurso humano, no sé. The human resources. Sí. Department. Okay, he uh, she supervises the human resources department. Okay, it has sense. It makes sense. Thank you. Next question. Look at this. Where does he work? For example, uh, let's see. Xiomara, where does Veronica work? Veronica works at the factory. Ah, okay, very good. Veronica works at the factory. Okay, look at this. What department did you manage? What department did you manage, Karen? I manage the purchase department. Ah, okay, very good. I managed the purchase department. Very good. Next question. Where does your company manufacture the product? Best question I want to, let's see. Yeah, Veronica, to help me out. Veronica. Hello, um, my company manufacture clothing. Now it says, listen, where does the, where does your company manufacture the product? Donde? Esa es la clave uh -huh. para poder responder esa pregunta. Okay. En, la, eh, eh, en este caso vamos a mencionar un lugar. Mm -hmm. Lugar o establecimiento. Ay, no se me ocurre, teacher. For example. ¿Dónde? Uh -huh. For example, look at this. Dice, where does your company manufacture the product? Okay, easy. Look. Let's go here. Look at this. Okay, in here basically it, this oh part, this part is giving you the answer to the question. Básicamente esa parte remarcada que tenemos ahí es la respuesta a esa pregunta. You see? ¿Por qué? Okay. Porque básicamente lo que nos está preguntando es sobre un lugar donde se lleva una acción. Okay. Donde se lleva a cabo una acción y en este, y este caso, ok, vamos a mencionar siempre el lugar. All right. Where, okay, estaba pensando como que era como el lugar donde se desarrollaba eso. Ajá, 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 ok. Y ya no, y no el, como el departamento. Ajá, exactly, exactly, right. So probably that's why you, you got issues with this thing. Ok, cool. Let's continue. All right, let's put it this. Ahora bien, vámonos a la práctica. Let's go to the practice. That's what I, I do really want we to focus on. Let's continue below the conversation that we had. In here, look. In this part. Over here. It says, per word, complete the questions, then write the answers. Look at this. It says, what, and we got parentheses in here, okay. Mario, okay. A possible answer, uh, a possible finish to this question. Look at this. What does Mario do? What does Mario do? Ok, ¿qué hace Mario o a qué se dedica Mario? Ok, so you might say, he, look at this, works in a big company. Él trabaja en una gran compañía. So you see? So in that case, we can put it like that. 
Ahora bien, help me out with number two. Ayúdenme con la número dos. Dice what. Y luego dice you. Y luego te está una coma y luego lío. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? ¿Qué, qué le falta a la pregunta ahí? What do, what do you live, Leo? What? Do. Okay. do you live? What does? Because it's he. Uh, ¿Dónde es he? ¿Dónde es he? Uh, Raquel. Porque está hablando de Leo o le está preguntando a Leo? En este caso, por la forma, le está preguntando a Leo directamente. Ah, no está hablando de Leo. Uh, that's right. No, en este caso es con Leo quien está hablando. Ok, entonces está bien acá el do. What do you? And here, what is the bird that is missing? ¿Cuál es el verbo que creen ustedes que está, eh, que necesita acá? Do. Do here. Así. No, okay, cool. Sí. Yeah, uh, man. Very good. Yeah, I mean, in that case, it's, it's correct. In este caso, tiene razón ella. What do you do, Leo? ¿A qué te dedicas, Leo? ¿O qué haces, Leo? So you see, in this case, in here, you are. Let me see. All right. Look at this. What do you do, Leo? So in here you can answer the question. I am in charge of, look at this, the new personnel. I am in charge of the new personnel, okay? Ah, estoy, ok, a cargo del nuevo personal. All right, and we have it that, like, like that, ok. Now, question number three. It says, what, and it says, Nisa. How is the question? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta acá? To finish in a better way. What Para does terminarla. Nisa do? Ah, ok, very good. What? Thus, okay, Nisa, do. Okay, what does Nisa do? Now, according to the reading, what does she do? De acuerdo a la lectura que tuvieron, ¿qué es lo que ella hace? She's a share of pushes. She is? Fine, what were you saying? Uh, she's, okay, she's she, sure. She shares. She's in share of purchases. Ah, okay. Ah, so in that case, she is in charge of. Okay. Yeah, let's say conmigo. Purchases. Okay, cool. Okay, now, this is the way how we fill out this information. Now, look at this. There are some words that we need to find uh, some differences. And the first one is, look at this. Use personnel. Personnel. Tenemos dos palabras que suelen ser un tanto confusas al momento de eh, ponerlas en práctica. La primera es personal, and a staff es la otra, staff. What is the difference between a personal and a staff? It says, use personal with plural verbs. For example, all personnel are trained to provide first aid. The personnel at the plant are certified. Okay, in here, la palabra personal se refiere al personal de trabajo, ok, dentro de una empresa. Por lo tanto, esa palabra es plural. Siempre que vayamos a usar esta palabra, eh, tenemos que tener en cuenta que es una palabra en plural, alright, no singular. It has to go with plural. 
Now, in on the other hand, we use a staff followed by a singular or plural verb. Listen up. So this is different, right? Why is different? Because in that case, it's like basically the staff. That's what it says. Oh, o eso es lo como lo llamamos nosotros. Okay, in Spanish. And it says, this one, this one, the word staff, it's with singular or plural nouns, all right? Or plural verbs, depending on what you want to say. For example, look at this. The staff work or works 40 hours a week. Our kitchen, look at this. Our kitchen staff follow or follows the Ministry of Health Regulation. Okay, if you take a look in there, both ways are possible. Entonces, en ese caso, de ambas formas puede ser posible. Okay, it can be possible from both ways. Good. Dicho esto, let's go to the main section. Let's go, let's go. Let's go to this. Look at this. It says, look at the word symbols and complete the statements in the box. Xiomara, can you please help me on reading number one? What do you do? Ah, okay, very good. What do you do? A que te dedicas? That's what it says in here. And then the next question, Wendy. What department do you supervise? Ah, okay, very good. What department do you supervise? Thank you, Wendy. Next question. One. Let's read one. Juan, are you there? Okay, apparently he's not there. Yes. Okay, okay. cool. Help me out reading, please. What branch does she manage? Ah, okay, very good. What branch does he manage? Very good. Raquel, read the next one. Where does your company manufacture? Okay, where does your company manufacture? So you see, that's, that's the question. And then we have the next one. Michelle, help me already, number five. Uh, what unit do you over? Oversee. Oversee. Okay, what unit do you oversee? What is C? Let's let's start over with that. What is C? ¿Qué entendemos por C? What is C? C means ver, okay? Ver. Oversee means check carefully. Oversee significa supervisar, ver cuidadosamente que todo esté en orden. To carry it away. Right? Yeah, I mean, oversee viene siendo sinónimo, sinónimo de check. All right? Nice. Any other question, Michelle? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Eh, es lo mismo que supervise. No. ¿Que si es lo mismo que supervisor? Ajá, no, eh, me, me estoy confundiendo. No, me estoy confundiendo. <risa> ah, pues no, pues no. <risa> no, listen, listen, listen. Tiene la misma función, es de la misma, ah, vaya. Un, supervis, un supervisor lo, lo que hace es supervisar. Ya, yeah, ven, valga la regla que ya, ven. Ok, es <risa> okay. likely similar, es likely similar. Eh, okay. So, supervise que es el verbo, supervise y oversee vienen siendo sinónimos. Ok. <laughs> Thank that you. Was, that was crazy. Ok, let's move. It says, a next question. Check this out. Who do you report to? Who do you report to? Ok. 
Look at that. What is that? Who do you report to? A quien te reportas. Literally, that's what it says. A quien te reportas. Who do you report to? I report to my boss. I report to my wife. I report to my family. I report to my friends. So you see, you have a variety of possible answers. Okay? So in that case, you got a bunch, bunch, bunch of options for that. Okay, cool. Now, what are we going to be doing? We are going to go down. People are going to tell you what to do in this case. Look. Ahora bien, tenemos estas preguntas que son básicamente las que estuvimos viendo, leyendo hace, hace un rato. Ok, en la diapositiva. But if you take a look in here, it says, write the questions that corresponds to the answers that follow. Use verbs in parentheses and then compare your answers with a partner. For example, tenemos en paréntesis el verbo manage, ok, de manejar and everything. And luego tenemos, ok, una WH question que dice, what department does Marta manage? So, Marta manages the sales department. Look at that. Marta manages the sales department. Now, next question. Tenemos el verbo oversee. Look at that. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? En este caso, lo que vamos a hacer es la pregunta, porque la respuesta para, prácticamente ya está hecha. Example. Oversee. It says, luego supervise. Y luego la respuesta dice, I supervise the maintenance department. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Entonces, si dice, I supervise the maintenance department. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? What department do you supervise? Okay, what department do you supervise? O, oh, which department do you supervise? Okay, también lo puede hacer con which. For example, look at this. Ah, you know what's it done. Okay. What? Okay. What department did you supervise? Uh, this is value. This is okay. Like this. Also, also, if you don't want to add what. You can use which in here, and it is possible. Which did, which department did you supervise? And that's still correct. Let me see what it's fine. And the question form. And you got it like this, you see? Which department did you supervise? I supervise the maintenance department. Good. What are we going to do? Listen up. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Eh, nos vamos a ir a trabajar en las mismas parejas que hemos estado trabajando anteriormente y quiero que me le den respuesta a esas preguntas, a mí. Preguntas a esas respuestas. Eh, en este caso es al revés. Quiero que me le formulen preguntas a esas respuestas, ¿ok? Uh, you have that part below this one. Ok, we're going to make a role play of them, a two minutes conversation introducing yourself and the staff. Okay, and this is this is another one. Okay, now let's jump into that. Okay, here. Let's jump into that. Remember, the questions can be based on this one, okay? On this one. So let's jump into here. After you finish in this, we are going to continue with the role play that we are missing. Now, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to put you to work into those things. So, give me one second. I'm going to recreate the, the things again. How many people are we? 13. Okay, give me one second. I think it's like this. Let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go. 
and do these questions, ¿ok? Vamos a practicar hacer esas preguntas, por favor. Ya tenemos las respuestas. Let's go and practice that. Let's go and do it then. I will give you for that 10 minutes. I think in 10 minutes you can finish. Okay, let's go. Let's try to enter people. Okay, let's see if somebody else. All right, let's jump into the breakout rooms. Solo la tres. No, tres. What okay. branch does Claudia cover? Mm -hmm. Hola, Tichel. Hello, Michel. Yo creo que no tiene. Ah, ya me Give me one second. You're with Jacqueline. Ya me, Jacqueline. No, me. She, she cannot. Give me one second. What, what happened to this? Ah, it's here. Ah, yeah, I mean, she doesn't have. Uh, she's sick right now. Give me one second. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change you. And I'm going to change her. La voy a poner ahí a The Listener, pero en otro lado. I'm going to put it in room number two. Ok. Y a usted la voy a mandar. Number four. Look number four, ok. Ok. Go there. Este, vamos a ver. And the next question of the... Hola, ¿me escuchan? Yes. No, hola, sí. Ok. Somos un equipo. Now, yeah, man, and let's finish that part, ok? Let's finish that. Now, number five. I'm going to be checking another group. Ahí está el teacher para que, sí. para que nos ayude con la captura, si quiere, las preguntas. Uh, la... you, you don't have the manuals, neither the questions? No, yo no. no. Ok, teacher. cool, no problem. This is, this is the one. Y ahorita, permítanme, aquí está. Ahí está. Ahí sí, gracias. Vale, entonces, este, como dice la respuesta, como he dicho, Claudio Overseas de Branch en Ilopango, entonces... Eh, sería where does Claudio pero Overseas? no sé qué es teacher what is the meaning of overseas overseas pues es como sí, el so, supervisar anónimo. ajá supervisar es como como dónde está supervisando como en qué lugar está supervisando Claudio exactly ah entonces sería where branch is Claudio Overseas bien pero no eh, como está hablando de tercera persona tenemos que mencionarle el, el DAS. Where does, ya puedo, y podemos poner Claudio, he, where does he. ¿Cómo es he o Claudio? Cualquiera exactly, de los dos. Exactly. Ajá, entonces sería, where does Claudio overseas the branch. Overseas, overseas the branch. Eh, where does Claudio overseas the branch. Very good. ¿Sí? Hi, Verónica. Sí. Are you there, Veronica? Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Yeah, I mean, I, I moved you here porque vi que, que estaba con, con, con Ivania, pero Ivania creo que sí, definitivamente no se conectó. Sí, estuve yo sola. Yeah, I mean, all right, no problem. Let's, let's have William and Xiomara here, okay? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Vaya, la cuarta, la respuesta de Assembler, de Assembler Report, to the supervisor. 
teacher, ¿qué es? What do you say? Assembler. Assembler, ensamblador. Ah, ensamblador, ensamblador. Eh, sí. A ver, a ver, a ver. ¿Está como verbo acá? Mm, eh, no. El verbo no. es report. No, to. Assembler, the assemblers son los ensambladores. Okay. Ensamblador, mm -hmm. ah, ok. Yeah, Yo la puse como who do the ensambler report to? Pero no sé si está bien. Who, como quién? Sí, porque está hablando de... Okay, to, to supervisor. Porque ahí está hablando que el supervisor fue el que hizo eso. Pues, pues podemos comenzar. Who do... Who... Who do you... Do the assembler. No, en ese caso no es... Bueno, hola. Ah, tal y como lo dijo Ensamblers. Xiomara... Tal y como lo dijo Xiomara, está, está ok. Está bueno. Sí. Who do the assemblers? Y luego el verbo, ok. Que en ese caso sería report. Por... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who do the assemblers report to? Es correcto. That's the one. Hola, hola. Hola. Ay, Ay que se me había friseado otra vez. Ah, ok, no problem. All right, let's continue with that, ok? Ok. okay. Perfecto. Yo hasta Katherine también. Uh -huh. We finished. Ah, you finished? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect, perfect. Ok, I'm just waiting for the rest to finish because they haven't. Ustedes son los primeros en terminar. Bueno, voy a revisar a otros más, tal vez ya terminaron. Ya me lo voy a checking. Ok. Hi, people, ¿cómo vamos acá? ¿Do you finish? Mm. Sí, yo creo que sí. Yes, already. Already done. Okay, cool, 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 perfect, perfect. I'm gonna check another group if, if they finish, I'm gonna stay there, okay? Bueno, voy a revisar otro grupo, tal vez ya terminaron y nos vamos a la sección principal. Ahí lo vamos a revisar en general, okay? Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be number five. Where man, uh, where manufacturing? Uh-huh, sería where, where manufacturing in Santa Ana, a plant. Bueno, pero eh. Yo, yo siento que. Where, 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 como where, como where, 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 Dime, es que ahí estamos confusos porque podemos usar where porque menciona, porque menciona un lugar, pero como también habla de, como que está mencionando un departamento, un apart, del, del lugar donde trabaja. Ajá, no, pero en este caso ya nos podríamos colocar which, sino que tiene que ser where, porque ya estamos hablando de un mm -hmm. lugar ahí. Ajá, por ejemplo. Dice, una, ahí una. podría ser where do manufacture a plant. Ok, yo me, yo me voy a hacer con necesito ver. Where, where do, do Do manufacturing. Do manufacture a plant? No, le falta el subject ahí. Todavía le falta el subject. Después del do. Where do, where do you? you? Exactly. Where, where do, do you do? You? Where do you manufacture? Y luego lo demás. Ajá, uh -huh, plant. Exactly. Where do you? Where do you? Ese you que están usando ahí ya es el you de plural. Sí, where do you factory? De in the plan, exactly, para decir ustedes. Entonces, la otra sería: Who do trains the new staff? Let me see. Douglas trains the new staff. Ahí es who. ¿Quién? Who. Ah, who. Do... Ok, how, how, how do you have it in that case? ¿Cómo lo tienen ahí? Douglas trains. The new staff. Entonces sería Judas trains the new staff. 
Good, the string, the new stuff. Mm. O podría ser. Um, guay. Yo pienso que puede ser guay también. Como por qué Douglas es el, el, el. No sé, como. Yo creo que es no. what do. No, ahí tiene que ser what, who. What do porque do. está hablando. Entrena de nuevo. Lesen, lesen, lesen. Pero tienen, es como qué hace, creo. Tienen entre paréntesis. Claro, Verónica. Tienen entre paréntesis el verbo do. Uh -huh. ah, entonces okay. tiene que ser what entonces exactly exactly es, es que es de tu Douglas no no no, no what do you do train no 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 Who no. Does... no no what, vamos what a does... comenzar exactly exactly what does what does uh -huh. mm -hmm. and now the person what does train. what does trains no, no, no the stop. person the person the person Douglas Ah, What does Douglas write the write the no 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 What does Douglas do do exactly Recuerde por eso tiene do en paréntesis do es el verbo principal hmm. What does What does Douglas, Douglas do, do. Ah, sí. ¿A, qué, qué hace Douglas exactly esa es la pregunta ah. qué hace Douglas What does Douglas do What does Douglas do okay yes. En ese caso, por eso tiene he trains a new okay, employee. All right. Okay, very good. The new stuff. Nice. So, let's go to the main sections. Ahora sí, si ya terminamos, vamos a la página principal, okay? Let's go there. See you. Man, where is where is everybody? Donde están todos? Just got seven people here. Se durmieron. <laughs> nah, man, I don't know what what's going on with these people. <laughs> yeah, man, where is everybody? O no termin no han terminado o I don't know what happens, pero ya vamos a ver. Si no aparecen dentro de un par de segundos es porque ya se retiraron. Nah, but that that would be weird. Sería raro eso. I mean, they are coming. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them are coming. Oh, that's, that's weird. Even Carlos is not here. Qué raro. That is super weird. Okay, but anyways, uh, let's just start checking those things. And let's see what you have over there right cool let's start with the number two okay the number two michelle leame la numero dos por favor la voy a reanotar acá so we're gonna be on track with that okay what department department así verdad department oh department no department department uh -huh. Department, do you supervise? Okay, what department do you supervise? Very good. Next question. Dice, I supervise the maintenance department. Okay, cool. Next question. What branch does he oversees? oversee? Let me see. Can you say what branch does he oversee? Okay. For the rest, los demás, ¿así la tienen? No. ¿Qué tienen ustedes? Number two or three? Number three. Where, where does Claudio oversee the branch? Ah, all right. What branch does he oversees? Okay, and let's put it like that. Look at this. 
where does okay where does Claudio oversee the branch look at this both of them can be acceptable listen ambas ambas preguntas pueden ser aceptadas ok si tienen con what o si tienen con where both of them can be acceptable ok ambas pueden ser aceptadas and there is no problem what branch does he oversee o where does he or where does Claudio oversee the branch both of them are possible now next Wendy read number four please Vaya, sería, what does assembler report to? Okay, very good. Let me see. Oh, no, give me one second. Repeat, repeat the one, because I didn't listen the beginning. Uh, who does assembler report to? Ah, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, es que me pareció haber escuchado what. Sí, sí, sí. sí. <laughs> no, I mean, in this case. <laughs> Because it's a person. Okay. Who does? Are you sure it's does? Assembler. The assemblers. Report to. Okay. Uh, Así la tiene? Tal y como está ahí? Who does the assembler report to? Sí. Okay. No, sin ese assemblers. Ah, only, only like this. The assembler. Okay. Who does the assembler report to? Okay, cool. Si la tiene así, la pregunta está bien. Si la tiene con S, la pregunta estaría mal, porque aquí se le tendría que agregar, se le tendría que eliminar la ES. Who do the assembler support to? Okay. So in that case, uh, both ways are possible. Si tiene cualquiera de las dos. Porque eran las dos es aceptable, ¿ya? ¿Okay? Okay. Nice. Ah, uh, let's move on. Uh, Raquel, give me number five. Raquel, are you there? Oh yes, I'm here, but I, I didn't do. I didn't, sorry. Ah, you were not participating in it with, with the classmates, right? No. Nah, okay, all right, no problem. Julio Cesar, help me out, man. Uh, where do you do manufacturing? Let me see, where do you do? Like this? Yes. Ok. Vamos a hacerle un pequeño, uh, una pequeña corrección acá. Ok. Lesson. Where do you do manufacture? Acá vamos a eliminar este do. Y vamos a dejar where do you manufacture? Ok. So in that case, that's, that's the possible thing. Where do you manufacture? ¿Por qué? Porque si colocamos el otro do como lo tiene usted, entonces ya el verbo manufacture ya no puede ir ahí. Ok. So that's why. That, that, that's the, the only short, short, short thing that you got there. Ok. Next. Uh, Xiomara, number six. What does two class do? What does Douglas do? Okay, very good. What does Douglas do? Douglas trains the new staff. Okay, and that would be the way how we do this. This okay. Entonces es la forma en cómo nosotros la podemos okay 
a dejar así de esa manera. ¿Por qué dice la respuesta? Douglas Strange, the new staff. Recordemos que de, dependiendo de la acción que nosotros vayamos a mencionar, así va a ser el verbo que vamos a necesitar, right? With that thing. Cool people. Any question with this structure? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación a este tema de las information questions? Recordemos que básicamente eh, se rigen por la estructura que les eh, comentaba hace, hace un par de minutos atrás, ¿ok? Que les di, que iniciamos una information question con una WH word, ya sea what, what time, where, when, which, who, with, and why, ¿ok? Y luego de ello, pues, ya sigue lo demás de la estructura as, as you might see, ¿ok? As you see in that case. So, I don't know if you have any question with that. No sé si tienen alguna duda. Por más mínima que sea. I don't know if you have it. Michelle, Xiomara, Wendy. No, teacher. Hoy uh, entendí bien. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Okay, cool. So, everybody has understood that part perfectly, right? Cool people. Uh, we're going to stay in here because of the time. But by tomorrow, we're going to check up some uh, activities that we have pending with that structure uh, and that we need to finish, All right? But right now, I'm going to pass the attendance, please, and then we're going to close up the class. Give me one second. Teacher, way, una duda sobre la plataforma. Ajá. Ya podemos avanzar, ¿verdad? No, 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 no. Sí. Yes, yes, you can move on. Apenas me había confundido. Es que yo pensé que, que hasta la otra semana se podía, me confundí entonces. <risa> no, no, Michelle, you can work in there, no problem. Para eso Pero tiene que plataforma. quedar lista antes del sábado. Eh, no, van a quedar listas las cinco tareas, la CENAP, las cinco tareas, que sería de la tarea 6 a la tarea 10, hasta el día miércoles. ¿Por qué okay. hasta el día miércoles y no martes? Porque el martes nosotros no vamos a tener la clase debido a que es asueto, ¿ok? Por lo del Día de la Madre, right? Because of the Mother's okay. Day, no vamos a tener esa clase, así que la clase de ese día se corre para el miércoles, right? Pero so tienen hasta okay. el miércoles para poder entregar esa, esa, esa. Thank eh, you. Ok, cool. That part. Michelle, por cierto, con usted ya tuve los 10 minutos de feedback? No. Ah, ya, me le va a escribir. So, lo vamos a tener ahora, ¿ok? Ok. Nice. I'm going to pass your attendance, please. Give me one second. Uh, Andrés Joel. I don't know, man. Andrés se conectó, pero Teacher. no me contestó. Yes. Teacher, para, para este miércoles también ya, ya toca también el, el midterm, ¿verdad? Exactly. Para este miércoles ya también está el examen de medio curso. En ese caso es el de, ya de la unidad 1 y 2, ¿ok? Yo les aconsejo que ya se pongan a hacer lo de las tareas correspondientes a esta semana, lo que vayamos comprendiendo, igual vayamos aplicándolo a las tareas, para que así ya unos días antes de, del examen o el día del examen, ya solo nos quedemos con esa evaluación y, y todo esté, esté bajo control, por así decirlo. All right? That's my suggestion. Así como lo hicieron el módulo pasado, ¿ok? El módulo pasado, pues siempre íbamos bien, 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 a, a tiempo, por así decirlo, ¿ok? Good. Let's move. Uh, so, Andrés Joel is not here. Carlos Mauricio, he got sick. Cindy Melanie. Yes, Cindy. I mean, Cindy's not here. Mm. Let me see. Uh, Stephanie Michel. Present. Cool. Ivania Yamilet. Ivania, Ivania. No, I mean, Ivania is the one that, that fell asleep, probably. Jacqueline Patricia. Okay, she's there, but she's, she's sick, it says. Joanna Saray. Even Joanna, she left. I am in this is the one. Uh, let's see, Jorge Alberto. Jorge. He didn't come back. Jose Edgar. Yeah, me neither Jose Edgar. Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, very good. Let's move. Julio Cesar. Present. Very good. Karen Beatriz. 
Present. Excellent. Carla Lisset. Uh, she's not here. Raquel Stephanie. Here. Here we go. Let's move. Veronica Arely. Present. Nice. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay, excellent. William Ernesto. Present teacher, good night. Good night, mister. All right, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Elizabeth. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's move. Carlos Josue, probably Carlos got problems with the internet. That's why he disconnected. And the last one, Reynaldo Chavez, which is not here. Okay, thank you for getting connected, people. Thank you for helping me out finishing the, you know, the class with you all in here. Uh, and let's see you tomorrow, okay? Have a wonderful night. Bye bye, people. Bye bye. Night. All right. Take care. See you tomorrow. All right. Michelle, are you there? Hola, teacher. Hi, I'm in. Ah, I thought you were not there. <laughs> okay, Michelle, remember, estos 10 minutos son básicamente para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con esta clase que hemos visto y las clases anteriores. So, I don't know, so, I don't know if you have questions related to that. Sí, sobre the passive voice. Es que <laughs> no me quedo claro. <laughs> y fíjese que todavía me conecté el, el domingo. Pero no sé, sentí que no, no sé, quizás como no me, no pregunté. Ajá, ok. Solo con eso, si me ayuda para okay. poder entenderlo mejor. Of course, of course, claro que sí. Ok, listen up. En inglés tenemos dos tipos de, de voz. Una es considerada active voice y la otra es considerada passive voice. Aquí solo vamos a estar trabajando con el presente simple en lo de active para eh, no confundirla. Listen up. En la active voice es la forma en cómo nosotros hablamos todos los días. ¿Ok? Y la estructura puede ser subject plus verb plus complement. ¿Ok? Ok. Esta es la estructura. Mientras tanto, la passive voice es un tanto diferente porque comienza como un subject plus b plus verb in past participle plus complement. Ok. This is the passive. En esta, en esta parte, ¿verdad? Que, que lo que, que de aprenderse lo, los verbos, ¿verdad? Los verbos en pasado participio. Exactamente. Okay. Es la tercera forma del verbo, prácticamente. Ok. Ok, cool. All right. ¿Qué es el active voice? Básicamente, en el active voice, nosotros nos enfocamos en quien hace la acción. ¿Ok? En quien hace la acción. Por ejemplo, si yo digo. Look. The dog bites Michelle. The dog bites Michelle. ¿Ok? El perro muerde a Michelle. Aquí nos estamos enfocando, sorry, de, de, de ejemplo, pero acá nos estamos, nos estamos enfocando no en la acción y no en usted, sino en quien hizo la acción. ¿Y quién hizo la acción, Michelle? The dog. The dog, right? The dog. Ese es el que hizo la acción. Ahora bien, something different in here. Ahora bien, ahora en la passive voice. En la passive voice no es quien hace la acción, ¿Ok? Eh, el protagonista, por así decirlo, o en lo que nos enfatizamos, sino más bien en la acción que es desarrollada. ¿Ok? En eso es lo que nos enfocamos en la passive voice. Por ejemplo, look at this. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo así? Digamos? Vaya, por ejemplo, va, mire, mire. En la active voice decimos the dog bites Michelle, el perro muerde a Michelle. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Aquí a quien le estamos enfatizando, quien hizo la acción, es el perro, ¿verdad? Sí. No, ok. Ahora bien, en la passive voice podemos decir Michelle is, ¿y por qué is? 
¿Por qué ponemos is acá? Porque Michelle es tercera persona. Por eso ponemos sí. is. ¿Y por qué ponemos is? Me puede decir usted. Ah, porque mire, en la estructura dice que podemos llevar el verbo to be. Y el verbo to be en el presente simple, recordemos, es am, y, is, am, y are. Y. ¿Ok? Son los tres. Son tres. Ahora bien, por eso tenemos is acá. Michelle is, y ahora el verbo, dice la regla, el verbo en pasado participio. ¿Cuál es el verbo? ¿Cuál es la forma pasada participio del verbo by? Es beaten o beaten. ¿Y sí? Michelle is beaten by the dog. Michelle es mordida por el perro. Ahora bien, si ve, ya no es el perro el a quien estamos enfatizando en esta oración, en esta active voice, sino más bien a usted y la acción que él perro le sino hizo. Sino lo que hizo. Exactamente. No lo que hizo usted, sino lo que hizo el perro. Ok. Ok. So, a eso es lo que nos referimos. Okay. Por ejemplo, vamos a poner otro ejemplo un tanto más, un tanto más sencillo. Look at this. Pongamos, Michelle drives a Mustang. ¿Le gustan los carros Mustang? Sí. <risa> ok, cool. cool. Look at that. Michelle drives a Mustang. Ah, Michelle conduce un Mustang. Ok. Bien, ¿a quién, nos, ¿a quién estamos enfatizando acá? Estamos enfatizando a usted, Michelle. Ok. Uh -huh. Y usted es la que hace la acción. Ok. Ahora bien, okay. en la passive voice. En la passive voice, ¿cómo sería, Michelle? Sería de Mustang. Ok. ¿Y hey, Mustang? Eh, la forma de drive. Ajá, pero antes de drive, ¿qué va? The Mustang is. Ajá. Is. Dr, 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 la otra forma de drive. No me acuerdo. Driven. <ríe> Lo tenía, pero dudé. <ríe> A ver. A Mustang is driven by Michelle. Ah, you see? Ya no es a usted a quien estamos enfatizando acá en la passive voice, sino más bien a lo que usted va manejando, que en este carro, en este, en este carro, en este caso, en este caso es el carro. Ok, that's the way. Okay. Entonces, y, la, y, y, y lo que significa by teacher. Es by, como decir by, por. Exactly. By significa okay. por. Uh -huh. By okay. significa por. Entonces, en este caso, así es como nosotros, entonces, eh, hacemos este tipo de estructura en passive voice. Entonces, nos enfatizamos más en la acción que hace el sujeto, pero no en el sujeto, sino más bien en la acción. Ok. Otro, por ejemplo. For example, look at this. The cell phone is stolen by the thief. The cell phone. El celular es robado por el ladrón. The cell phone is stolen by the thief. So you see? Y tenemos una acción. Ok. Ok. ¿Qué? ¿Cuál es la acción? Ah, que el teléfono fue robado. ¿Por quién? Por el ladrón. Entonces... Si ve, no enfatizamos más el ladrón, sino la acción que esta persona hizo. Ahora, okay. en, la, en la active voice ya sería The thief steals the cell phones. El ladrón roba los celulares. You see, ya en la active voice ya es la persona que hace la acción la que se enfatiza o la que tiene más relevancia. All right. Ok. Entonces, esta es la forma en cómo nosotros creamos oraciones usando la passive voice. No sé si hay alguna pregunta o algo de acá que mmm, todavía no esté del todo claro. Eh, sí, ahora sí ya comprendo mejor. Es que vaya, en passive voice tenía dudas con eso que mencionaba de Ajá. lo de la acción. Por eso cuando usted nos dijo de los ejemplos, ¿Sí? Me salieron malos. <risa> pero, pero, pero eso, eso que, 
que me mencionó que en la fase voy es la acción se enfoca en la acción que se desarrolla ya es, es diferente es como darle vuelta a la oración algo así ajá yo digo Michelle the cat eats meat el gato come carne cómo sería en fase voice vamos a ver si me la hace bien es porque sí ya hemos comprendido entonces Vaya, le voy a dar esto, le voy a tomar esto. Mi... Ok. Vaya, vaya, le voy a decir como The meat Ajá. is eat y pero y, ah, pero es que en la parte de los verbos me, me va a ponchar porque no no, no no me acuerdo. Ok, vaya, le voy a ayudar. Eaten es el verbo. Eaten. Eaten by the cat. Exactly. The Digamos meat. que aquí la clave es aprenderse eso, pues. Es correcto. Dejo yo. Por eso fue que envié la lista de verbos regulares en PDF al grupo. ¿Ok? Sí, Para sí. que vieran ahí la tercera forma, la, la forma pasada participia del verbo y que es bastante necesaria para este tipo de estructuras. Ok. A ver. Así que tendré que estudiar. <risa> ya, me ya, sí. sí, tiene que practicar okay, un poco. Ok, cool. ¿Alguna otra duda, Michelle, que podamos tener? No, solo eso. No, okay. Es como, como no, no puse atención <risa> bien, me quedé Ajá. así en las nubes, pero ahora sí. Ah, ok, very good. Me alegra escuchar eso, ok. Thank you. There you go, Michelle. So, entonces... Si no hay nada más que agregar, nos vemos mañana en la última videoconferencia que vamos a tener esta semana, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. There you go, Michelle. Have a wonderful night, ¿ok? Bye, bye. Good night. Bye, bye.